I'll just give you a quick update um, what's happening in my grow room. Everything's moving on quite um, quite quickly now. As you can see, uh, the, the leaks that I've got, I've still got some of them under the lights. I've took some of them out now. They've been sitting under the lights for four weeks now. Um, as you can see, like this Yorkshire Giant here, they're, they're starting to get quite big. They need to out of the lights. Um, they've been sitting in 12 hour lights. So 12 hours on, 12 hours off for four weeks and they need took out. Some of them seem to be struggling. Um, I, I'm growing more than what I'm going to need so the, the, they'll be selected, reselected um, and the, the worst ones will just be either binned or given away to anyone who wants them. Um, I have got some blanch leaks here. I think I've got a bit of a problem with them. Um, they are on the small side. I don't know I don't know if it's it's normal or not, but they seem to me like they're struggling. They were set away off the head, um, be coming up eight weeks now. Maybe it's, maybe it's just me. Everything else seems big around it, and they just seem on the small side. But I don't know. I'm gonna grow them in any way. The, the guy who got them off, Alfie Sago, is a top northeast grower with his uh, with his blanched leeks. So his are his are similar. So. They must, they must just come later on in the season, so we'll see how they go. I'll follow them throughout the season. So they're the Pendle Improved Blanch Leaks. Um, this variety of pot leak is a Cumbrian. Um, as you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, it's got a streak on it, on the on the flag. Um, so this is the flag, or leaf, as some people will call it, but it's got a virus in it, and it's got like a yellow streak in it. It's, it's quite hard to see under this light, but this actually grows out of the leak um, over over the next. So it's a twelve. It grows for twelve months, and it grows out of the leak. Um, it, you'll start seeing it disappear in around four, five, six weeks when the sun starts to get onto it. This one here is a bitty black, and this one has been left way behind. There's a bit of green green moss sitting on top of the compost, but nothing to worry about um, and this one yeah is a Yorkshire Giant I have had a touch of thrip which is absolute nightmare with leaks as you can see thrip damage believe it or not that is the only one that the thrips touch in in the whole of the cabinet um, I have sprayed with uh, chemicals but I, I'm, I'm gonna keep on top of this season I've got some uh, systemic chemicals inside the compost but I didn't put it in on that variety my mistake um, so that that's that's the leaks well what are the onions um, <coughs> as you can see there's been a massive growth I've just potted these ones up in a two litre pots they've literally just been potted up ten minutes ago so they're sitting in two litre pots I don't know if they're gonna come too soon because they're absolutely massive but We'll see what happens. Um, hopefully they'll, they'll be okay for the late August show, but as you can see, they're massive. Could be a good thing, could be a bad thing, I don't know. Peter Glaze Brooks seem about the same size. These are now sitting uh, 12 hour late, so we'll see how they get on. Um, so I've, I've selected down to, I think there's 11 there. I'm gonna put another one there, but I run out of compost, so. I'll thin it down to 12. I'm gonna grow six of these, so they'll be thinned down again at the next pot up to eight, and then to six. Um, the spares that I've got, they'll go to go to friends who've helped me out in the past, because um, I want to continue getting help off people. Um, so that, that's the onions in the 12 hour lights, and the leeks in the 12 hour lights. Um, I'll move up to the, the top grow box. Um, in this grow box, the lights are still on 24 hours. Sorry, so the bottom bottom lights are T5 grow lights. The top top lights is high powered sodium lights. Um, this is still on for 12 hours. Uh, 24 hours, sorry. And the variety that that's in here is Billy Lambs. Um, it's true. To, uh, I know I know it's Billy Lambs because I got it from a very good source. Um, so hopefully I'll get a very good onion out of this big, big onion. Aim for somewhere in the region of 15 pound. But 
painting time here for things to go drastically wrong and I could be slagging off my trench uh, but we'll see so there the Billy Lamb seed uh, onions are about a week and a half behind the Peter Glaze Brook so you can see from these ones that are thinned down um, so th that's probably an inch across whereas this is only a quarter of an inch across but they'll, they'll catch up these are sitting in 24 late so there's still plenty of time left here um, I'll grab this one from the back and um, the National Pot League Society has a has a pot a small pot league um, competition in March um, so I'm gonna grow this leak it's a company in Sammy Cross it's got nice form on it so I'm gonna have a crack at trying to grow a pot leak for the pot plant and um, I think it's a seven inch pot that it, it shows in so it needs potted off from a litre pot into a seven inch pot and I've also got another one at the back there the Yorkshire Giant I'm gonna have a go at getting that in and I'm gonna also stick stick another cumbrian in here um, they're not going to be go any further um, I'm just going to leave them in the grow box if they're, if they're any good I'll take them to the show um, and we'll see what happens to them these are Peter Glazebrook, uh, sorry these are Billy Lamb Seed also from Billy Lamb Seed um, and these are way behind but I stuck them in just, just to see what will come on them um, and that's the reselected ones so that's that's all that's happening in the grow box at the minute. Uh, I'll take you down and we'll have a look around the, the allotment. We've had quite a bit of snow up here, uh, a couple of inches. It's nearly gone now, but nothing's getting done outside. So I'll take you down there. So I'm at the garden. I'll just give you a quick update of what's been happening down here. Um, not much happening in the way of work outside again, as we've had a, a little bit of snow. Um, but I'll show you. I'll show you some of my uh, some some of the stock in the in the greenhouse. So that as you can see, these are the leaks that have come out from under the lights. Uh, these have had twelve hour lights uh, under the T five. Um, as you can see, it's it's virgin on the width of my finger. This is a Yorkshire Giant. Um, I'll show you one that hasn't had light. This one here, so next to it. So the one on the left had uh, four weeks of 12 hour lights. The one on the right has had no light, no extra light. This has just had natural daylight. It's not much different. Um, the one on the left has been advanced a little bit, but the one on the right is a little bit smaller and it's a lot paler. So when they come out of the lights, they come with a nice nice green color, dark green. So that's that's the Yorkshire Giants. Um, some of the Betty Blacks leaks over here. Um, these have had the same amount of lights pushed on a little bit they're looking nice as well still plenty of time for them but that's them um, the Sammy Cross nice leak Every, a lot of people are saying um, that it's it's an old leak, it's past its best but I'm going to stick a couple in see how they do um, the stock I've got it from was second place at the Moor House so um, see how that gets on uh, that's the leeks. I've got some tough ball onions that I've just totally neglected at the bottom. Uh, I might end up having to just do another sown of them in the spring, see how they get on. But I've just neglected them. I haven't really had time for them, so just let them get on with it. A couple of tubers there that are that are going to get stuck in later that I'm not too fussed about. Um, and these are my dahlias inside of here. Um, the temperature is 15 to 20 inside of the the vitipod um, just taking over some of them's actually starting to come to life I'll try and find it uh, I don't know if you can see that there a bit of green coming out so there's a couple more bits there that probably hadn't hadn't died back but there's plenty of time for them um, I'm gonna I'm tempted to when I take my onions out just to stick them in the heated bed inside of me um, inside of my shed just to get them going. They don't need any extra light. Uh, I've spoke to a top dealer grow and he he just puts them in a dark dark garage um, and the lights only go on when he's working in there so it obviously works so I'll see see how I get on with them. 
um, the onions are just starting to spring up uh, plenty of time for them they'll get planted in the garden get some get some seed off it hopefully but it, it was going soft at the bottom so I just stripped a couple of couple of layers off it uh, still plenty of time for that if it's just the one that I've kept back from the one that I've grown this year just to get a bit practicing for it uh, the, the front one here ideally I want to I want to keep that back for seed because it's a good good shape onion nice small compact onion same as Dave Metcalf's um, so fingers crossed for that one but if all else fails I'll just be able to get some more stuff from somewhere else um, so that's that's it in the greenhouse not much going on but still plenty of time yet I'm starting to hammer through the gas because the temperature in here needs to stay above 10 degrees C um, and it's minus it got down to minus 4 in the garden last night I've got a high low thermometer um, so the, the, the temp outside temperature is minus 4 and the greenhouse needs the 10 by 8 greenhouse needs to be kept at um, 10 degrees so that's nearly 15, 14 degrees above what it is outside you can imagine the heat is going to be working overdrive all night to try and maintain the temperature um, so I've got I've got my heater going uh, that's the lifestyle heater I'm not sure what the the, um, the output is but um, I'll show you me I'll show I'll take it out and I'll show you my gas bottle setup um, I'll have a look so this is the gas bottles outside um, as you can see I've got two two bottles there rigged up to a auto changeover valve um, when one it, it's so it's on when it's pointing over to that side this one's on um, it'll once this is empty the pressure flicks it over to the other side and a red light um, is illuminated down the bottom to say that this one is actually empty um, at the moment this one's empty on the right um, so that it's actually got a red light this one's full so I know, I know I need to change this barrel um, I'll, I'll do it in the next next day or two um, I've got a, I've got another one behind us so that that feeds through the tube all the way down through the bricks into the greenhouse into the um, into the heat and that keeps me greenhouse warm above 10 degrees I'll show you a little bit about what's happening outside um, I've got two leaks I've kept back from stock from Mick Wrighton and these two here are Betty Blacks they'll just sit in the in the outside uh, trench just open to the elements there's there's no no hurry for them to get back up the seed um, down the bottom of the garden as you can see there's a bit of snow still lying I'll walk you through and I'll show you the tunnel what I've been doing in the tunnel um, Put a couple of flags down in the tunnel. Just step over. So, I've, this is one of the green tunnels, yeah, the cheap green tunnels that you can buy the frame from it anyway. I've reinforced the frame. Um, I've put double doors either end. Take you inside. Uh, be putting my own cover on. A diffused white cover um, so that, that's the tunnel it's, it's ready for the for the netting on the bottom side so around the bottom it'll get netting and around the top over the top it'll get diffused white plastic that'll go on when when, I, when the spring comes uh, when it starts to warm up um, and that'll, that'll get put on I have been doing a bit winter prep to me trenches just loosening it up uh, let the elements on it start to break everything down um, and I've put some paving down this side as you can see there's a pot there I'm going to put pots all the way down this side I'm hoping to grow about 20 quality onions in 30 litre pots with some of them will be put in air pots um, I'll show you that near other time and um, they'll they'll be filled with uh, fine quality compost and I'll be growing quality onions in there Dave Metcalf's quality onions which should arrive next week so that's that. I'll take you into my tunnel. Um, once, once the snow thaws out, I'm gonna start cracking on with my tunnel, uh, applying the the fertilizers and base dressings and trench fertilizers, and then uh, 
and get sorted. The covers are off, so it's opening the elements. Um, and that's it for the day. Not much else happening. Too cold. Uh, see you up to the top. Garlic's poking through there. Another little garlic. Um, another little job I've got to do. Another big job is extract all the the sand out of the boxes and transfer them over just to keep it all broken up so they don't have a build up in uh, other compost all the compost uh, that's it for the day thanks for watching